Today's project is called the bad hair day, although you might decide that it is actually the good hair day. The first thing you will need to do is to find an image online, a good quality image, or if you have one, or cut one out of a magazine of somebody you admire, somebody you think is cool, somebody, a sports figure, whatever. Then you're going to cut that person out, whether you print it or you pull it out of a magazine, and you're going to cut off their hair. So I've cut off Julie Ertz's hair, I've cut off Frida Kahlo's hair here, and then you're going to cut them out carefully with no hair. You're going to, on a piece of, you could just use a piece of copy paper, that's what I've got here, but if you have nicer drawing paper or multimedia paper, that would be great. You are going to use a glue stick to carefully get your person glued down at the bottom of your paper so that there's lots of room on the top. The next step is you are going to decide what your person's hair outline is going to be. You can do it two different ways. You can have sort of an organic flowy shape like I did. I have had some students decide to do more geometric shapes and you're going to start with pencil like I did and then you're going to go through and you're going to trace the outside here is a more geometric shaped hair The next step is to use a marker. I am using a fine point sharpie to go over my pencil lines. The next part is we're going to then divide up the inside of our hair into, if you have an organic shape, you're going to divide it into some organic flowy sections. If you're working with a more geometric shape, You'll, you will do it in uh, some geometric section, sections. So you might do something like this. with my fine point sharpie. Divided, you are going to carefully erase your pencil lines. When you're drawing your pencil lines, you know you're going to erase them later, so one way to make it easier on yourself is to not make your pencil lines so dark. I did them a little darker because I wanted you to be able to see them. But obviously, the lighter you draw your pencil lines, the easier they will be to erase. And any of you who have taken a class from me in person know that I am a stickler for careful and neat erasing. Now we're going to fill in each of the different sections of the hair with some sort of different patterning, zentangle, doodling. It's up to you. I find it easier to use a mix of finer point markers at this point. This Sharpie is brand new, so the point on it is still pretty 
fine. This is a fine point. If you have the ultra fine Sharpie, which is skinnier than this, that might work well. Um, this is the part where you can just Go with your imagination and how you're feeling that day and how, how crazy, bad, or artistic this hair is going to be. So go ahead and have fun with this part. slash zen tangle design done on your figure's bad hair, then you can start laying down the background. If you have chosen an organic shape for the hair, you're going to do um, straight lines on this part for the background. If you've chosen straight lines for your hair, you're going to do uh, more organic curvy lines for your background here. To pencil in my uh, straight lines for the background. So we kind of want it to be like rays. So you're putting in these rays these lines that come out from your figure and you're just doing it anywhere there's negative space. Oops, I messed up. That was not negative space, but that's okay. That's why we're doing it in pencil so that we can erase it. And then just to show you if you were, um, if this was all filled in already with my or uh, geometric doodling on the inside, I would do rays outside of Julie Ertz, but in a more organic, curvy manner. The next thing you're going to do is take a Sharpie and trace over your rays. and then erase. At this point you will need colored pencils, markers, if you happen to have done this on heavier weight um, paper, you could even use watercolors. For this part we're going to leave the, the design, the zentangly doodle part, black and white. You could also color it in, but for my example I'm going to leave it black and white. 
And then for the background, you are going to color in the rays that are coming out from behind your figure with the bad hair day. You can choose to do warm colors, cool colors, rainbow, your what, whatever you feel like. I think today I'm going to do warm colors because I feel like Frida calls for some warm colors in the background. Coloring in, so I'm using the side, the broadest area of my marker to color this in. everything colored in you can go back and double up your lines and add some embellishments there. Frida Kahlo having a crazy hair day.